What's up everybody? This rock. I guess this be a two-part video. I couldn't spin the camera around earlier to get to uh my faith in it so I could talk direct. So I just did it from the other vantage point. Uh about the resident strap. Um about the resting uh the cargo bar. That's what the last video was about. This video is gonna be about uh basically just uh neatness and organization when developing property or land land specifically uh because that's what we focus on as you can see uh when i do a panoramic i got it pretty spread out you know uh, a lot of poison ivy vines a lot of things like that trip hazards safety hazards you want to walk and you want to eliminate your stumps, you're going to have to tear up some chainsaw blades. You know, that's the easiest way. It's going to cost you a little bit. Not just tear them up, but dull them quite a bit. Um, you want to get those stumps as low as possible because you don't want to bust your tires if you're going to be driving over it. And I figure most people will be driving over it, like me. But once you get that space cleared out, you know, it's fall. The best time to do it, if you ask me, because... Uh, in the southern regions, eastern regions, you have mosquitoes, bugs, sliders, creepy crawlers, spiders, everything under the sun that likes to get on you in a, you know, you're invading, you're invading their space for one thing. So, um, you want to watch that. So in the winter times, you don't have any of those problems, just the weather to deal with, which is okay. The frogs and everything, you know, once you get it cleared out, you're good. Now, this creek is relatively close. As you can see, I don't see no water line on these trees. But this creek, I don't know if you can see it. There's a creek right there, about 40 feet. Now, it's not a running creek. Like, it's, 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 it's water in the bottom of it. But uh, it's not, like, full all the time. It's a little stream of moving water about it about two feet wide. I don't know how deep. And it's fairly clear. You know, but I'm sure the rain, as you can see, it's a natural slope here. And all the rain water from here goes to that creek. As long as the creek don't rise to flooding, <laughs> even if it did, I got like a huge, I could diverge that water if I wanted to, but I don't think I have a problem with flooding sitting up so high. But that creek, I don't know if it's man-made or natural. I have no idea. I haven't really had a chance to study it because um, it's on my neighbor's property. <laughs> and uh, I don't. he's a nice guy. I just, I just stay on this side. I don't really go over there. He don't go back there either. He kind of stops up front. His property is kind of cut off by the creek. He can't access the rear because of the creek unless he builds a bridge. And uh, that's just the way it is. But getting the place cleared off, getting it organized, getting it open, placing everything that you need to place where you need to place it is what I'm working on. And you want to you wanna do that, you know, right away, in my opinion, because you don't want to be coming back double working, you know, uh, if possible. You want to do it like I started placing the wood over to the side, like right away, in different piles itemized i got very small wood because you know i got that cubic mini i got longer pieces of wood for i build a fire pit back here sooner or later and uh of course burn barrel can house all that wood can use all that wood right right then i, I want to be able to move around with the truck back here for different projects until i get the gravel dumped so again i keep it wide open back here for that reason you don't want to start cluttering, cluttering your your, your 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 place. Depending on your layout, depending on if you're swampy, mountainous, hilly, uh, depending on all that, you know, you want to kind of strategically place things that you'll be using, and that that's what I've done, and I suggest you do it as well. And clean as you go. And as I get, I made a mistake of having a lot of piles of just debris and leaves at one time. The big mistake. 
It was a chore trying to get all those up here. You know, it took a whole day, basically. So now I clean as I go. Try to, as I make a pile, I clean a pile. You know, and it keeps the place organized and clean and work ready, right? Right. And that's what you want to do. You know, it's going to help you move forward with your project and make progress. And I'm doing this in sections, right? Because I don't know when I'll get some help or if I'll get some help. So this is the first section. Almost complete. The second section is what is the second and it'll probably be a third. One, two, three. It'll be three sessions. It's it's right there. Uh you know, it is what it is. It's a mess, but it is what it is. It's gotta be done. So that's what we'll do. And it'll triple the space here. And like I said, I don't want to go too big, and that's kind of big already. Technically, this space would probably be manageable for one individual, but I'm going to go a little bigger than normal just for ego's sake and just for, uh, you know, just, just, just I guess just for ego's sake. I don't know why I want to go that big. I'm going back there beside the creek. Um, I don't know. I just want to go that big. I guess it's for ego's sake, because I could stop here and be perfectly fine, you know, kind of, yeah, this is enough, it actually is enough right now, but I guess they say go big or go home, I'm going to triple the space, and by tripling the space, I'm thinking one 25 truck of clay gravel We'll probably f fill this space, and we're talking probably two or three to do this whole thing. So, also affected my pocketbook. But I think I'll be glad I did in the long run. Um, I stopped that for that for for that down there for a reason, I believe, and you know, I think that will be a goal that I can reach. Okay, well, that's just a few tips I wanted to throw at you. I got my wool hat on today. My son gave me this hat. Uh, gift. <laughs> I guess a re-gift. But <laughs> well, he gave it to me. And it feels good and warm on my head. It's a triple X or something like it. It's a resist all or it's a triple twisted X is what it is. Yeah. And it feels good. It's comfortable. Alrighty. Hope everybody stays safe, stays well. Keep those projects going. And uh, this ride on the road, signing off. Y'all take care. GBA to everybody. Peace.